What's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and welcome to my top 5 GameCube games that I love. Um, now, a quick couple things I need, I need to say. First and foremost, uh, no Mario, no Zelda, no Pokemon, because first of all, that would be too obvious. That will be a video in itself. And also, no World War II games like Call of Duty or Medal of Honor, because also that would be a little too um, obvious. Um, what I want to do is have games that people may not expect me to enjoy. I'll play anything. Um, but also games that I think a lot of people would be like, holy shit, what in the fuck? Also, I would like to mention one more thing. These are in no particular order, so it's not like the first game is going to be the bottom of the barrel. You know, like, okay, I love all these games, but this one has issues and blah, blah, blah. What's, what's number five? Nah. Um, I just like my, just in no particular order. Because that would be even harder for me. You know, saying that a game is better than, than another game. I love all these games. Even the honorable mentions. And there's a lot to go through, so let's get started. First game is The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Now, the reason I like this game is at number five is not because of the gameplay, actually. I, I love the gameplay, don't get me wrong. The gameplay is fucking awesome. But, it's the cutscenes. Which you might be thinking, oh my fuck, why cutscenes? Well, let me tell you why. The cutscenes, they are... Not only uh, digitized, you know, from the movie, you know, uh, digitized version of the movie, but they are also cutscenes from the actual movie in movie quality. They're not uh, digitized. I will show you later on in another video. But that's basically why I like this one. Number four, and that's kind of a big shock to everybody because they know they're not really much of a fan of. Everything in Sonic. Sonic Heroes is number four on the list. Holy shit! Yeah. People are gonna attack me right now. But what I think is that Sonic Heroes is a really underrated game. Uh, a lot of people don't like it because of the uh, voice acting it sucks. And the overall game sucks because uh, it's not really polished. And Besides glitches, like I, I made a couple videos on it. Um, but also, <clears throat> another reason a lot of people don't like it is because not just the voice acting and the gameplay and the glitches, but overall, it just doesn't really seem like a good Sonic game. But that's actually why I like it. Call me crazy, but I like it because of all those reasons. Well, aside from the voice acting, the voice acting sucks. But you have four teams. Team Sonic. Team Dark, Team Rose, and Team Chaotix. And that makes for a really great game because you have all these stories and it, it's going to take a while to beat. Uh, in a way, I'm currently doing videos on the game, you know, doing a gameplay of all the stories and everything. Hopefully I can get to the final actual real boss and whatever. But anyways, I digress. Long story short, Sonic Heroes number four. Number three is Naruto Clash of Ninja 2. I've been wondering, where's the first one? Well, that one will be an honorable mention. Um, because, while the first one is awesome, the second one is even better. I believe you have more characters, and more everything. More of a story. I think there's actually a story mode to it. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff that is even better than the first game. Um, combine the fact that it's based off an anime, I mean, it is actually basically an anime, uh, anime fighting game, Tournament Fighter, which is even better, it's, uh, but it's also got the voice of Steve Blum, which is Tank Dempsey from the Call of Duty Zombies series, um, and you have some other characters from Call of Duty that he's been in, you know, voiced, but he's also the voice of Kadota from Do Ra Ra Ra, 
one of my all-time favorite animes. So, combine those three things, you got yourself a fucking awesome game. Number two is yeah, XG3 Extreme G Racing. Fuck yeah! Oh, okay. XG3 Extreme. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> XG3 Extreme G Racing. I love because it's not your usual racing game. Oh, that's another thing. I'm not going to put any racing or any sports games on the list because sports games suck. But not this one, actually. This game, I wouldn't really even consider a sports game. I Not in the traditional sense, you know, NFL blitz or NHL hockey hits or whatever the fuck it's called. Or NASCAR. But this game is beautiful. You have, like, motorbikes and all that, you know, really awesome stages in the game, you know, really awesome tracks, but you also have guns, and shit, so you can blow up your opponent, and, uh, you know, everything else, blow up all your opponents, it's fucking awesome, but another thing, is the kick-ass music that's in the game, and all these games have awesome music, and beautiful gameplay, and your controls are awesome, and all that. So that's why it's number two. Honorable mentions go to obviously the first game I mentioned was uh, Naruto Clash Ninja One. The same thing, same reasons as the second game, but the second game is better than the first one. Sonic Mega Collection. I mean, this is so close, uh, so close to being number one. Um, but there are a couple things holding it back. I mean, I love the fact that you can play seven great games on here of the Sonic series. Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, 3. Bad Robotics Mean Beam Machine. Sonic 3D Blast. Sonic Spinball, which I think is the, the my least favorite out of them all. And Sonic and Knuckles. Plus you got bonus games and features. Um, Basically for that reason... I love this game, but that's an honorable honorable mention because I've got a game that's even better than that. That's number one. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. I love this game because it's a fighting game, and it's Mortal Kombat. I mean, you can never go wrong with Mortal Kombat. And you got the crypt, and you know it starts out at, you know with uh, the first ever game with the crypt in it, and you know basically a purpose to currency and all that shit. So yeah, that's why it's awesome. Resident Evil, the original. Uh, it's better than the PS1 versions, obviously, because it's a remastered version. And even the PC version is a remaster of the remaster. It's weird, I know. But, hey, the GameCube version is what we're talking about here. So let's get to it. Resident Evil, a game about zombies and mansions and shit. That's why I love it. And also, because... This is a better version than the uh, PS1 version. The controls are better. The graphics are better. The overall gameplay is better than the PS1 version. Resident Evil Zero. Right here. I love Resident Evil Zero simply for the fact that, again, it's Resident Evil. But also, this actually takes place as the first ever game in the series. You know, timeline-wise. Um, because... This takes place before the mansion. This takes place before uh, Chris Redfield and what, what was the other girl? Rebecca Chambers. Rebecca. 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 Oh, Jill Valentine. This game has Rebecca Chambers. I'm an idiot. Um, so you play as basically Rebecca Chambers or Billy Cohen. And you could actually switch between the two at any point in the game to get through some of the puzzles. And in general, Resident Evil Zero is a better game than a lot of the other games that um, I played. Now, number one, right off the bat, Blood Rain. Blood Rain is fucking awesome! First and foremost, it uh, look at the girl. 
she's hot as fuck for a GameCube uh person, you know, a person that was on the GameCube uh with with the graphics and all. She is hot as fuck, okay? She's a half vampire. So, that's already fucking awesome. Um but let me tell you some of the characteristics of the game. You can you fight zombies, you fight Nazis. Um you you can suck their blood. You can basically do whatever when it comes to killing people. You have all your methods of uh, dismemberment use, using two blades. Um, as you can kind of see right here, she got blades. She, 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 she's got blades, and you could also use um, other things such as you know guns and shit. And it's not a first-person shooter. If you look at the back of the box, in a way, I guess you can kind of see, um, overall what the game is like. You know, it's awesome. So anyways, guys and gals, that's it for this video. If you like this video, give this video a like. If not, it's fine too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below. To get there, find my future uploads and live streams, and whatever the fuck else that I do. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people, and bro-huff. Boom!